5,000 revs. The tire is expanding. Look at that, the tire is expanding. Seriously though, how did this even happen? How did we get up to such speed in a lot of... That I cannot fathom. Hey there, fellows. Remember we welded these two lattes together? Well, we've separated them, for the purpose of conducting an experiment. Now allow me to explain what exactly we're preparing for. You can see that placed right next to the car we have a wheel. And as every single one of us knows, on the sidewall you've always got markings that tell you the load and the speed rating of any given tire. Anyway, we're curious to see what'll happen if you spin a wheel up. So roughly speaking, let's call it so let's assume that the equivalent maximum vehicle speed translates to about a thousand revs per minute. But what if we were to bring that speed up to say 1500, 2000 or 3000 revs? What'll happen then? We'll be spinning up the axle shafts and the wheel is going to be mounted on the pinion flange. I'm expecting this to be an interesting one. Let's do this. Fellows, our online shop has got a new offering for you. Check out this lovely document holder I got here. Now this thing is multi-multi-functional. You can use it as a place to keep your business cards, your documents, I mean, you name it. As for this item's quality, well, let me show you. Now this is my personal holder where I keep my very own documents. I've been carrying this around since 2019, which makes it two years that I've been using it. If you look over here, you'll see a small inscription that says Garage 54, see it? Now this you can have custom done. It can bear your license plate number, your own name or your spouse's name if you like, anything your heart desires, and whatever brings a smile to your face. So yeah, now we offer these really sweet document holders. All of the links you'll find in the description. Go ahead and get yourself one of these. What happens to a tire at 620 kilometers an hour or 385 miles per hour? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Check out what I've got here, fellows. We've recently purchased this non-contact tachometer, which you can use for counting the revs. And now we look on. The engine is turning at idle, and the wheel is rotating at a rate of 122. 123 revolutions per minute. It's working right now and it's showing us 98, 99.5, 98.6, and now it's 100. Holy cow. 99 again. Okay, now I suggest we jam the other wheel. Can you hold it, Vlad? And right away it speeds up. There you go, 200 revs, 201, 203, 202. There is a slight margin of error, but we were seeing 100 revs, and after stopping that other wheel, this one is now showing 200. Now I suggest we try... Let's go ahead and bring the speed up to 50 k's on the speedometer. See how many revs the tack shows us. And while maintaining a constant speed, we try stopping that wheel to see what happens over here. One wheel is going to be blocked anyway, so now we just need to check how fast this one is going to be rotating. We need a baseline figure in order for us to be able to do some rough calculations. So 50 kilometers an hour. And the wheel is doing 455, 456 revolutions per minute. At this point we multiply that by 2, which gives us about 900. Let's check and see if you can stop that wheel. Maybe not with your hands, though. Nine hundred and sixty. We got the gauge. And so... Now it's time to throw something together and spin that wheel up to maximum velocity to see what happens. Let's do this. And here's our assembly. Like I said before, we connected one axle to another and fitted the wheel to the flange on the differential. Here's what's interesting about all of this. Now, because we've got everything the other way around, essentially, even when I slowly turn the axle, see how much faster the wheel is rotating? We've got a higher output speed. I think we worked out that it's either six or eight times higher. It's a lot. So this is a studded winter tire, and the index is 75T. 
With 75 being the load rating, 387 kilos, there is a bit of extra durability built in, I want to say it's 30%. As for the T, that's the maximum speed the tire was designed to do, which is 190 k's, so 100 kilometers is 900 revs. As we've established during that run inside our facility, Meaning that the maximum speed of 200 km an hour requires that we get the wheel up to 1800 revolutions per minute. I think it's time we begin. Now, in order for us to find out how much we increase the output speed, maybe just try the starter? I think, yeah, without firing up the engine, we throw it into first and spin the starter. See whether it's healthy enough to get things moving. I think it will be. Plus, we'll see how many revs it'll turn just on the starter. You can let go of the clutch. I have. Really. So far, I'm only seeing 14 revs. 23. 55. And that's 55 revolutions per minute. That's just on the starter. That's obviously not gonna do. At the very least, it works. We are literally only getting started. All right, let's fire it up and try first gear. Okay, let's try this out and see what we've got here. Hit it, I mean... That's about 650, 620. 700. So that's first gear, and we're already traveling at almost 100 k's. We've got 830 to 840 revs, and that's 100. Well, 900, I mean. That is one hell of an increase. Amazing. The wheel seems to be slightly deformed. 3,000 revs, and we're already going 100 k's. Time to try second. The whole thing's vibrating. 1100. 1300. Let's call it 1600. Yeah, yeah. Eighteen hundred, that's not bad. The equivalent vehicle speed is 200 k's. If the car were going 200, that's how fast the wheel would be spinning. Incredible. I don't hear any studs spitting out yet. They are not evacuating the tires, so there's something good. It's hard to see anything. You've obviously got the centrifugal forces doing their thing. Those studs do have some weight to them, but they're staying in place. So far, anyway. Okay, fellows, so... The guys have convinced me that it's probably a good idea to step away. We've got a camera over there anyway, so I can just keep track of that wheel's rotation on this here screen. Right, so we've been up to 200 in second gear. Let's see how fast we can go in third. I'm expecting 300. I heard something click. That's already 200. Let's bring the speed up some more. Careful now. We were able to bring the speed up to 300 and third. The readout on the app seems to have frozen. We'll look through the footage later on just to make sure. And the time has come to engage fourth gear. Bring the revs up to about 3600, that'll be about 400 k's. And we're gonna be observing the wheel to see what it does. 
You ready to observe? <laughs> Fire it up, Vlad. Let's rock. That's what I'm talking about. Looking good. That's a hundred. We're approaching 200. Where did that light patch come from? Now, if we were to believe the gauge, it did fall over at some point, but it was able to record the highest figure. Anyway, so we saw 4,200 revolutions per minute, meaning we got up to way in excess of 400 Ks. Let's try getting up to top speed. Can it handle fifth gear? So fifth gear and give it everything it's got, brother. Let's do this. Let's see how fast we can spin that up. Second. Third. Here we go. Wait, no we don't. What's going on? There we are. It's happening. It's creating quite a bit of wind. 5,000 revs. The tire is expanding. Look at that, the tire is expanding. Holy cow. That's enough. Oh my goodness. Look at how it imploded. That was 5,300. You seeing what the centrifugal force did to that tire? Is it still on the rim? Doesn't seem to be. The tire is no longer sitting on the rim. Holy cow. That's pretty wild. Very nice. Don't stick your hand in there. Right, fellas, we were able to bring the wheel up to a vehicle speed of over 550 kilometers an hour. If our math is correct, at that point the wheel imploded. But that was just on two atmospheres of pressure, which we've now brought up to five. We're about to do another round. In top gear. Rev the balls off of that motor. And see how far we get this time. Will the tire unseat itself given the pressure, or is it gonna stay put? There is quite a bit of pressure in there. Fire it up. So that light reflecting marker we had fell off, but the tag is working perfectly even just with that marking on the sidewall. It is very much able to see it and give us a rev count. Since that marking does reflect light at least somewhat. Okay, 2200. Five grand. It is expanding. And that's 5,600. That's enough. I think I smelled burning rubber. Something's definitely wrong. We have a situation here, guys. I have no idea. What happened here? Leave it alone, Serge. The cord is torn. You're right, we've got a bubble. Holy cow. 
I mean, who would have thought, right? That this would rip the tire cord. 5,600. 5,600 revs. The calculator crashed again. So we've done some calculations and worked out that at this rate we're looking at a vehicle speed of 620 kilometers an hour. Look at how the sidewall is stretched out. Look at what happened to the edge of the tire. How it got away from the rim. Oh my goodness. In all other places the tire is seated like it's meant to be. But in this particular spot it has been pulled away. And as a result you get that effect like the tire basically turns into an egg due to the fact that the cord was torn. And now in this one spot you've got a bulge on the tire. Look at this, guys. So our rim has got bead seats, right? Which are meant to keep the tire in place. So we've all been to tire shops and seen tires being inflated. And the incoming air is what seats the tire. With this one, though, I can do that using just my bare hands. On one side. And on the other. Pull it off, press it on. Pull it off, press it on. That's it. There is no way that you can drive on this tire now. So now we've got it on the tire mounting machine. And it is not supposed to do that. I mean, what is this? I mean, using just one finger to seat and unseat a tire, don't tell me I can remove it like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's worth a laugh. I get the impression that it has substantially grown in diameter. I reckon we should keep the ball rolling on this one. While we were still in the process, we actually figured out how to increase the speed even further. Hit us up in the comments, fellas. I'd really like to know what you think. Maybe let us know what sort of tires we should use, to what speed we should get them up to, and all in all what we can do with them. I'll be looking forward to reading your comments, and I do think that we gotta make something happen. I'd say we're looking at a 107% success rate here. And for the time being, that'll be all. Watch, subscribe, send in your comments and suggestions, give us a big thumbs up. We got hoodies, we got hats, t-shirts. And summer is just around the corner, so go ahead and grab yourself something. Alright, catch you guys later.